Welcome. This guide will show you how to change so Football Manager uses another hard drive to store things like save files and custom graphics. And this guide will show you how to do it both for the Steam version and the Epic Game Store version. And if you're like me and you like to install costume graphics of Football Manager like badges and player faces and match kits, Football Manager starts to take up an insane amount of disk space. We are talking about 20, 30 gigabytes of data. And also save files can quickly grow large. Well, let's take a look at how we can fix this. If you already have Football Manager running like I have here, let's start by exiting the application. So by default, Football Manager stores all this on your documents. Sports Interactive, Football Manager 21. And uh, I would like to move this to my D drive where I have a lot more free disk space. And I already created my own Sports Interactive folder there. We just need to move the FM20 folder. But I'm going to remove the graphics folder when I do this because it's like 30 gigabytes large. So it's going to take hours to copy it now. I don't want to do it for the video. It's going to copy everything but the graphics folder over there. And to make sure it really works, we're going to delete the old FM21 folder. You can keep it as a backup. I'm just doing it here for the video to really show that we are using the new folder. Now we just need to tell Football Manager to use this new folder and we do that from outside the game. With Steam we right click the game, go for properties, set launch options and now I'm going to paste a string here. You're going to find this string in the description below so you can just copy it. You don't need to write it off the screen and then I'm going to go to my new folder and I'm going to click it here to get the real URL to it. And I did copy that one. And where it says path here, if I go back to set uh, launch options, we're going to paste the URL to the new folder in place of, of the word path. And now that's how we do it with Steam. For Epic Game Store, you're going to go for settings. And I'm doing this for FM20. I thought it was a little bit overkill to buy Full Manager 21 for both Steam and Epic Game Stores. I'm doing it with the previous version that I already have there. But we're going to click that additional command line argument. And you're going to paste it here the same way as you paste it in uh, in Steam. So that's how we do it for the Epic Game Store, even though I did it with the 20 version instead of the 21. But now the game should be using the new folder. And I'm just going to boot up the game. And I'm going to see that it works. So let's try to load the game to see that it actually exists. And uh, as you can tell, we have our save file and we can also see that it's actually stored on the D drive. And uh, when I load up the save, we can see that everything is working. And we are, of course, missing the graphics since we didn't copy that folder. Instead, we see that default graphic that FM uses. If you're struggling with this, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to the best of my ability to help you. And if this guide helped you, make sure to press that like button out because that helps me. And subscribe to the channel for more FM21 content. Thank you for watching.